has learned of significant developments in the case against William Reese. For the families of three girls, Reese is believed to have raped and killed. A 25-year-old saga may soon be coming to an end. Jessica Willie is live with the developments you'll only see on ABC 13. Jessica. Yeah, Eric, we know a major development is in the works, and while there's always been talk of plea deals, the Galveston County District Attorney's Office has publicly maintained its desire to prosecute William Reese. Tonight, they declined to discuss any details because these cases are pending, but it appears the victim's families are getting closer to justice. Three months after William Reese was brought back to Texas to face charges for the 1997 murders of Laura Smither, Jessica Kane, and Kelly Cox, significant court settings in two counties. June 23rd, first in Galveston County in the morning on the Smither and Kane cases, then Brazoria County in the afternoon for Cox's. Reese's attorney confirms the settings, but will only say not all is resolved. They are working toward plea deals. If the deals are done, it would end 25 years of uncertainty for three families. Reese is a suspected serial rapist and murderer. In 2016, after Reese, already a convicted rapist and kidnapper, was linked by DNA to the murder of Tiffany Johnston, he started to confess. In the end, confessing to not only killing the 19-year-old Johnston in Oklahoma, but also 12-year-old Smither of Friendswood, 17-year-old Kane of Tiki Island, and 20-year-old Cox of Denton, all kidnapped and murdered in 1997. The remains of Kane and Cox finally recovered in 2016, but only after Reese cut a deal with prosecutors, leading investigators to where he buried them on the outskirts of Houston in exchange for taking the death penalty off the table in Texas. He was moved shortly after to Oklahoma, and in May 2021, an Oklahoma jury found him guilty of Johnston's murder. I sentence you to death. He was sentenced in August to death. He deserves it. And if he could be killed more than one time, that would be fine too. Six months later, Reese was back at the Friendswood City Jail for more prosecutions. This is his latest mugshot. Kelly Cox's mother tells ABC 13 she is on board with the plea agreement after numerous conversations. Gay Smither, Laura's mother, says after a very long 25 years, it looks like they will finally get justice. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.